everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another Princess Cora aesthetic video. This one was actually requested by one of my followers, and they wanted me to make a video on suggestions for how to incorporate the Princess Cora aesthetic into more casual, everyday outfits. So the thing about Princess Cora is it is a beautiful aesthetic, but a lot of the time on Pinterest, on Instagram, you tend to see these really gorgeous puff dresses, um, really done up hair and makeup, and everything is just kind of over the top, which I adore. But if we're being honest, it's not always super convenient for every day, and it's just not always a viable option. So I wanted to give you guys a little rundown of ways you can incorporate it into more casual styles, and this is personally how I do it. So number one, I think it's important to recognize that there are different subsections of the Princess Core aesthetic. There are different subsections of every aesthetic, and Princess Core is no exception. So basically, Princess Core covers anything that is remotely princess related. So you could be taking inspiration from the Disney princesses, you could be taking historic inspiration. A lot of the really puff dresses take a lot of inspiration from a couple of different historical eras. The main one that comes to mind for me is the Rococo era, like the Marie Antoinette style. It's a very modernized one of that. And while there are ways to make the Rococo era a little bit more casual, which I will get into, there are some that lean more heavily into everyday wear. So for example, you can look up modern day royalty for inspiration. There's a, quite a few modern families, royal families that still exist today, and you can research the kind of things that they wear. The outfit that I'm kind of wearing right now is more inspired by like kind of a modern royalty, very British royalty with the pearls and the knit, got the pearl earrings, very inspired by more modern British royalty. There are also things like equestrian styles, which is very like kind of off-duty royalty, again, modern royalty. Um, equestrian is a very royal sport, it always comes to mind. There are things that you can purchase to incorporate into your everyday wear to make, to get that look for yourself, that off-duty look. So one of the things I purchased was a pair of stirrups. And if you're not familiar with stirrups, they're basically like a thicker quality legging that have these little elastics to go around the heels. And these look great with knee-high boots. Of course, the typical look is riding boots. I love my knee-high boots with this. I think it gives me a very classic, elegant kind of princess core look. If you're more into the historical styles, which are kind of larger than life and over the top like I am, then that brings me to my second point for this video is to really study the silhouettes of those eras. So for example, the Rococo era is really known for that square neckline and that puffy, puffy skirt. Um, obviously, if the puff skirt isn't an option, go for puff sleeves. So if you're looking for something that is a little bit more on the casual side, especially if you're shopping for winter time, look for sweaters that have that square neckline and like a little puff sleeve. And that's a really simple way to incorporate that into your wardrobe. Another really great way to incorporate princess core into a more casual outfit is to go for statement accessories. So I don't know why, but I feel like with princess core, there's a lot more bigger statement jewelry than smaller dainty jewelry. I have a lot of dainty jewelry, but for me that works better with like the Parisian chic aesthetic and less with the princess core aesthetic. So statement jewelry, pearls especially, as you can see this has a ton of pearls on it and I've got these like matching big pearl statement earrings. Vintage earrings are a great place to look as well. The big clip-on earrings, they're beautiful and so princess core to me and you can usually get them for pretty cheap too if you're looking at thrift stores and stuff like that, so that's a great option. If I'm wearing like an oversized chunkier sweater, then I tend to go with like really big jewels too. I love to wear this giant bow ring with more chunkier oversized sweaters. I'll like insert a picture from my Instagram right now. I've worn this so many times. It's such a go-to look for the winter for me when I want to be more comfortable and casual. Continuing with that oversized sweater look, I tend to like wear oversized sweaters in the winter with like mini skirts and tights. I love that look and I think it can be very princess core if you dress it up properly. And one of the ways that I do that is with hair accessories, which I've talked about so much before. 
Headbands can act as tiaras, <laughs> so I have a headband collection if that's something that you're interested in. Padded headbands especially, I just think are so elevated and I love them, but also bows and ribbons. Even if you're just doing something small like putting like one little braid at the side of your hair, tying it in a little ribbon at the end is such a cute way to elevate your look. Half up, half down bows, honestly you could even like put that, oh that's so cute should have done that. could put that at the back of a ponytail. There's so many different ways. This one here is from Adeline and the Fairies, so I'll leave that link down below if you're interested. And if you are going to be looking for those warmer, cozier sweaters for the winter time, then you should be looking into fabrics that are more elevated and higher end. Um, now, I'm not saying that you need to go spend a lot of money because you totally don't. You can definitely go thrift most of these pieces. That's how I get a lot of my wardrobe is thrifted pieces, but you want to look for knits that are high quality. So this one here is from Real S and I absolutely love this one. It is slightly more on the pricier side, but it's so soft and warm and you can tell just by looking at it that it is a higher quality knit. The same goes for cable knits. If you're looking for cable knits, you want something thick and really nice and luxurious looking. Other fabrics that you can kind of look into if you want um, more casual looks is anything tweed. It just screams princess core to me. Again, that's very um, modern day British royalty is what always comes to mind, but tweed is a great fabric and you can get little tweed jackets to go over top of shirts and that will just dress up your look a little bit and make it more princess core. And I think lace is another great option for so many different types and subsections of princess core. So if you can incorporate a little bit of lace into your outfit, that's a great way to stay within the aesthetic even in a casual outfit. And then finally, my last suggestion is glitter. Glitter is such a good way to incorporate it and it doesn't even have to necessarily be in your outfit. In fact, when I incorporate glitter, it's normally not in my outfit. So as you can see right now, I have glitter on my eyes. It's nothing crazy, but it's just enough that it's kind of like, it gives you that glow and I really like it. If you're not super into wearing eyeshadow, totally cool. Here's another great way to incorporate glitter. Bath & Body Works sells these diamond shimmer mists. They also sell like body butter that has glitter in it and it just gives you this like nice little glitter all over your skin nothing super crazy but it's just so so pretty so i love that i love body glitter i just think it's so nice you can see all the glitter in that and i am running low this is the dahlia scent and i love this one i don't know if they still sell it i think it might have been like a limited time thing but super cute but anyways, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If any of you watching have any more suggestions of videos you'd like to see from me, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. I love when you guys reach out to me and let me know these things. It really means a lot to me. So thank you again for suggesting this video. But anyways, you guys, I will see you all in the next one. Bye!